Splatoon. Okay. I never got into Splatoon. The toys are back in town. Toys are back in town. Donkey Kong. What's this? Mario. Here we go. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. I've never played this. Well, the original. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. <laughs> they look really and cute. It's up to Mario to track him down. <laughs> oh, look at the shy guy. Contraptions and other challenges await. The little Mario in the thing. Observation and action are vital to your success. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. <laughs> <laughs> That's in great. This updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. However, you it looks very puzzly, which it's up to you to recover. I like. Toys. I like my puzzle games. Mario versus Donkey Kong okay. launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Prince of Persia. I think we've seen this before. Dash through this looks all right. I am um, Persian inspired world. But don't linger too I remember like the old school side-scrolling Prince of Persia game as well as time powers to from like hostile lands. As the 90s was it and defeat the hmm. mythical beasts that stand in your way get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf when Prince of Persia that looks all right Crown, launches on the Nintendo switch system January 18th Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase Racing 2. game, okay. Speed through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style, while overtaking your rivals on the The tracks road. do look really cool. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Super crazy with rhythm castle. Puzzles, I don't know if I would like this. <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. <laughs> creating a photo diary on weekdays you'll head to class then enjoy family time <laughs> in the evening spy anya operation memories launches on nintendo switch next year okay looks interesting mario's first RPG hey. adventure returns the super mario rpg game is back with updated graphics let's go over some new i'm really excited for this i haven't features. played the original but I hear it's really good. To damage dealt or damage and I've been hoping that they would like when you time your release the original all on the Switch or something, but this looks great. After <laughs> clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Oh, that's cool. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Set off for the art style Mario looks really cute as well. Like, from what I've seen of the original, it looks like they've kept it kind of similar, but just an updated version. Now on Nintendo eShop. The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns mm -hmm. on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. What's One day, this? a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Mm. Mm. This looks interesting. I like puzzles. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Can you huh. see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard For some I reason try, this is giving me like remember Dad's face. Resident Evil vibes. Like I don't know if it's gonna be scary, but like Who are you? The puzzles the sequel, in another code R. Journey into lost memories, previously unreleased. The in exploration is also I don't know. included. Unravel both adventures. Okay. Fully enhanced for Nintendo. Yeah, I've literally never heard of another code. Recollection launches January these games, 19th. but pre-orders. I'm intrigued. On Nintendo eShop. <gasps> is it Peach's game? One day. A loyal toad presented mm -hmm. a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Aww. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it. I think it might then... be. <gasps> uh oh. 
when the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's uh -huh. up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. I wonder what the gameplay is like in this. can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face hmm. off against the Sour Bunch. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Oh. Whoa, Peach transformed <gasps> into Swordfighter Peach. Oh, what? <laughs> Transforming, she can use fantastic show Oh, that's really abilities. cool. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational sword play. Nice. Can Peach okay. save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts. I guess it could be like yeah, any theme for a show. And investigate clues. She plays different parts. <gasps> this looks really good. I'm really excited for this. Festival. Turn into patisserie peach and save it from a sugar crack. The cake. The it's like the cake from on this martial arts school. Become Mario Party Peach and take it back from these foul beasts. <laughs> I hope they don't spoil everything that she becomes, but this looks really cool. I like the concept. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. Okay, good. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch hey. March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That looks good. That looks good. Saga series? A I don't... RPG full of rich I don't know this one. In Saga Emerald Beyond. What's the gameplay, Saga. though? Is it turn-based? Turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial It's turn-based, okay. Use special techniques to control the order yeah, of actions. Yeah, I don't... Or I don't mind turn-based games, but... To swing the title I don't know if this really... Interest me. The legendary raider ah. returns. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, hey. are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. I <laughs> fearless archaeologist Lara Croft. You travel recently and tried playing the first one, and even deadlier legends. like the original Fun, version, and um. Flip. And swan dive through perilous quests spanning different I did I did struggle a bit. <laughs> I wasn't wasn't the biggest fan. You'll solve puzzles. But maybe I would prefer these updated versions. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. This is the one they announced at the great detective starts previous. This is Ryan Direct, I think. This game's a real toot. What? Is <laughs> your brass for the quirky uh -huh. game Trombone Champ? Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. <laughs> but how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro control. Huh, to I was going to say like up and down. How do you actually play? Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. <laughs> the controls are pretty unique, and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres. This looks funny, but I don't think I'm gonna play it. <laughs> in between. Plus, wow. The four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. Ten teams of three will What's duke that? it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Hmm. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. Or I like the art style, but terrain to win. I don't think the gameplay is for me. Before battle, hmm. equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. 
I don't know if I like the gameplay. This reimagining from Konami and way forward. This doesn't look like my kind of game. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again. Ring of legend lighting his path. That mm -hmm. is the ring of oh. the unicorn. Ancestral treasure of Cornelius. I don't think this lineage. is my kind of game either. What's this? Ooh. Oh, is this the one they announced last direct? Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Oh, wait, no. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the Is this a different one? <laughs> Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. I can't remember if this is the one that they announced, Time like, some mansion last direct. But this is cool. I, um... No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device. I still need to actually Go play a Luigi's Mansion game. <laughs> Use it to light up I think I'd really like them. I actually have objects, the original on GameCube that I haven't played yet. Um, but they look really good. They look good. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon Ew. his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different <laughs> multiplayer modes. Luigi's okay. Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from <gasps> oh. Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. Oh, that's cute. Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in amiibo form. Hmm. Please look forward to its release next year. What is this? Is this, um... The first F-Zero game. I was gonna say F-Zero. A 99 player battle royale. Oh, wow. <laughs> F099. Okay. Race on classic F0 courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Tear through courses in high speed races, but be careful. Your power meter will decrease hmm. if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. This looks chaotic. <laughs> you need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. It's interesting how they've kept like the pixel art, but then also they've added in like modern graphics as well, like on the menu and the HUD as well. What's this? Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, oh, a League of Legends story. Land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. This looks adorable. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch. Look how cute they are! Oh my gosh! across the land to gather materials. I really enjoy the pixel art style as well. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests. That fishing looks kind of like Stardew Valley's. <laughs> can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries Aww. will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, that looks launches on so Nintendo cute. Switch next year. Aww. Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, mm. on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. I feel like Jump. we've seen this before. Climb, a League of Legends story, mm. launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Play with these shops that don't feel like a prize. I think we've seen this one, right? In each micro game, you'll get into a specific Looks so silly. I've never played a warrior game. They just look action weird. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. I don't know this one. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid mm -hmm. DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they this adjust to country life in this sequel to Wargroove. 
Charge across three tactical campaigns mm. with valiant factions. Dive and catch fish by day. Oh, is this um? Then serve them as sushi by Dave night. the and Diver. Adventure, Dave the Diver. I've heard of this one. Explore an ever-changing underwater oh. world. To okay. Find the best ingredient. <laughs> looks to kind of scary. Oh. Dave the Diver. An MMA. First for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system, October twenty-sixth. Pre-orders and a free demo. Swim on to Nintendo eShop later today. The final wave <gasps> is racing in. The last Here's one. Here's a sneak peek at Wave Six. The <gasps> final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe oh. Booster Course Pass DLC from the Mario Kart Wii game Daisy Circuit. More returning nice. characters are also being added in Wave Six from the Mario <gasps> Kart Double Dash. Diddy. Diddy Kong from Mario Kart Wii. Funky. Funky. Kong. From the Mario Kart ah. Pauline. Oh, that's cool. And also, oh, Peachette. Peachette. <laughs> Cute. Wave six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives on to. I can't believe we're this holiday. already up to the last one. A new map. Is that it? I never got into Among Us. I um, I don't think we will get anything Zelda related since like we just got Tears of the Kingdom. But I'm kind of hoping for something Zelda related <laughs> as the last announcement, but we will see. Mario, Paper Mario, Paper Mario. Which one though? Is this... I've played... No, this is... This must be Thousand Year Door? I've played the first one. I haven't played this one, although I actually do own this on GameCube, but I only... I haven't owned it for long. So I haven't played it yet. Um, but this is exciting. Okay. I hear really good things about this Paper Mario. <laughs> Look at that Yoshi! <laughs> I feel like we've been, been getting a lot of um, Mario announcements this year. There's been a lot of Mario stuff. <laughs> the art style looks really cool as well. Like it looks like they tried to keep it, you know, similar but a, you know, better, better quality version. wasn't bad I um I I do wish there was some Zelda but um I'm excited for Paper Mario the Peach game um the Mario and Donkey Kong game looked good as well so yeah there's a couple couple good things in there for me